So uh, it's a couple days later from the last video. It's been just some slow, slower days and stuff because uh, we kind of got down in the fields, kind of sorta. We hauled some manure and stuff. Uh, worked on some stuff. Uh, yeah, you know how it is. I just and today is uh, the last one of our nice days for a while here. It's already getting cold and it's windy. It's always windy, but I just came down to shut off that hydrant in the cow lot because it's gonna freeze pretty good in the next couple days and it's kind of raining right now so yeah oh and we're gonna bring the heifers home tomorrow late morning or early afternoon one or the other from down south at my uncle's unless it rains too much and gets too muddy but i don't think it will so that's what we're gonna do tomorrow at, well, tomorrow morning we're gonna do a big land auction too that's just miles away just to see what's going on there. So we'll see you tomorrow. So we uh, went to that land auction this morning. Stuff sold for about 10,000 an acre. Which isn't too bad I don't think. Well it's a decent price for that much that big of a chunk of ground um, but yeah then we got the heifers moved home I'm unhooking the trailer now because uh, I uh, I took a trailer down to get the equipment that was down there like the feed bunks and there's a bale ring and some water tanks and stuff and dad hauled the cows on his so they're on with the other pickup and trailer so I got the heifers home their equipment moved home yep now I'm, I just brought the trailer down to the other farm and hook it out of the way because we're about out of room up home see much this morning because it's about 13 degrees outside and it's freezing and windy and nasty so I don't really want to take my hands out of my gloves to video more than I have to it's uh, fired up this morning two wagon skid loader because we're gonna start feeding a little bit of silence today it's getting cold enough now and it is very cold it was it's actually it's better today than it was yesterday but it doesn't look like it's gonna get any better in the future so we thought we might as well just start feeding them a little bit and still getting the hay and stuff so until we get enough of the silage ground off to grind the pile of hay then we'll just feed them with the wagon there we go first scoop out of the pile successfully been broken out over the years well there's one back there I think that works there may be a couple in the front but yep a little bit early starting at this year about a week I don't know, it usually seems like we start wagon feeding about Thanksgiving but we're still 10 12 days from there but is what it is and we should have enough feed this year, I think. Hopefully, we don't have too little. But... Pull up the calves here. I already fed them out there in one of those bunks. Pull up here, this little tractor down. PTO on, it's coming out. We'll just drive ahead slowly because they don't need very much today. giving them a little trickle of the bunk just to get them used to it and they don't really need it quite yet for sure it's just because they still have some feed in their feet around there so we're just kind of getting them used to it today and tomorrow probably but now we're feeding the cows <clears throat> down in the lot because the bunks are all full up there and everything has to eat so we got to go down here to our overflow feeding system which is called old flipped in tires you know tractor tires they just turn them inside out and then you could feed inside of them <clears throat> it's snowing out right now too just a little bit but it's kind of like accumulating in corners and like on my windowsill thing but 
done with chores now. Uh, and I'm gonna go actually run grain cart for a neighbor right now, today and maybe tomorrow, and we'll see what else. So, yep, maybe even try to fly the drone. Breaking through the middle, it looks like. These things are so awesome with these tires. It's huge. Pretty decent field here too. Love to see it. Now we're doing some grain carting. Cool. about 25 26,000 when it's full he was pretty close to full there and put 24,120 on it can pull a little more than that and that thing can actually hold over 28,000 can probably hold 30 because that one was pretty full but he wasn't like overflowing Pretty awesome drone footage today, right before the combine broke down. So, here's the drone footage. <laughs> 